Hi friends, I'm Chris the Camping Stitcher. Welcome to my floss tube channel. Um, it is Friday, July 8th, and this is my floss tube number seven. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back and sticking with me. If you're new, I hope you um, enjoy what I have going on here and come back again. So, um, I am filming this while we're getting ready to hit the road I guess um, soon so we're gonna be doing a little bit of visiting and moving around a little bit um, hopefully some good camping and we get some good weather so I'll be posting some from our travels and we'll see what happens um, I have big notes in front of me right here <laughs> haven't followed them yet um, I would like to say a special thank you to Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher for giving me such a lovely shout out on her channel um, for my um, for my channel and for my um, BAP for BAB hashtag for my birthday. I did start on uh, July 1st. This is my I'm taking the whole month to celebrate. It's a big birthday. I'm going to be 60 at the end of the month. So I'm going to just go all out. And also, I would like to um, thank Becca from Sambri Stitches. Um, she gave me a lovely shout out on her channel. Um, and she's got a lot of really exciting things happening. She's going to be going to Nashville. So give her latest floss tube a watch uh, if you haven't already. Um, she's got some beautiful, she's a, a new designer. She's got some beautiful projects coming out, some beautiful samplers. She's already gotten um, a couple of them. Um, out and I think acorns and threads is, is carrying her patterns in their shop um, That's a dream. I'm all the way here on the East Coast. It would be great, you know to get out to the West Coast sometime and, and get over there and visit that shop that's on my bucket list so um, Oh, and I suppose you noticed, but I was able to blend those uh, two videos on my last floss tube together. <laughs> I didn't do it well. It was awkward because I saw that, you know, iMovie had this transition and you could do this and I had no idea it was going to cut out the sound for a couple of seconds and then make it go back again. So um, I'm still learning. I have to figure out how to edit in iMovie and have it be what I want and not what iMovie wants. So it, it'll happen. I'll have some time to fiddle around with it this summer. Um, so since my last video, uh, I have gotten a, a bit of stitching done and I have a couple of new starts. I have a huge um, crochet finish, which is going in our RV. Um, I'll show you that I won't I'm not gonna stand up and like show you the whole thing because it's just like repeat after repeat but um, for those of you who were catch who caught my Instagram stories I have some haul and some of it arrived in this lovely package which is still wet this is this ink is still kind of not dry at all and 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 Look at it. It's crazy. Crazy that the USPS, sorry, I don't mean to be bashing, but you know, I've gotten some packages before that have been damaged, but this takes the cake when you tell me that, you know, you received the damage from where? Another postal office. That's where. That's crazy. Fortunately, and thank goodness that 123 Stitch does still put their stuff in plastic. Nothing was damaged. The packing slip had some of this, whatever, ink, toner. I'm imagining some kind of catastrophe happened in some post office somewhere. Bottle of ink, toner. Um, but it wasn't damaged. And I, really? Seriously? You're okay with delivering? I don't even know what you would, the alternative would be. This going in the garbage now. But I just, I, I can't get over this. I know. Rant over. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> that... I haven't had a package like that ever. Had some pretty beat up stuff, but that takes the cake. Anyway, let me um, get the big crochet finish out of the way, and then we'll talk about my stitching. So this is the 
cozy stripe blanket and the pattern's free on attic 24 you just have to google attic 24 and i finished it this week and it's really big it's, it's a big one and this is i made these this to go well camping you know you don't want anything real light but i made it to go in our camper so i just finished it i um came back to it. I had started it a little while ago. I don't even remember. I usually keep track of this stuff on Ravelry. Didn't write it down. Don't even know. I I'm, I think I used maybe nine or ten skeins of I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, usually write it down. Didn't do it. Left it. I had this much done when I got COVID in the beginning of June. So I really started working on this probably around June 5th and just finished it the other day. So, not bad. I mean, you know, once it, it goes fast. There's a color changes, but you can just weave the ends in. And it's a great pattern. I've made, I want to say, three or four of these cozy stripe blankets. And it's a really great pattern. So, I am actually going to make it in again. Um, want to get some gifts made up. And it's a nice little throw blanket. Well, this is a bit, this is bigger than, say, your regular afghan. But a um, couple of nice little throws to give away as Christmas gifts would be good. I'd just throw that over there. Okay. All right. So that was my big F.O. crochet, not cross stitch. Um, as far as cross stitch goes, I have a, quite a few things that I was working on. So let me show you that. First, oh, another kind of related cross stitch. My little baby project bags. These are my big project bags. This one is just some fabric from Hobby Lobby. And I think this is great. You keep your notions, your needles, your uh, corner gauge, uh, little snips. I'm going to put another uh, pair of scissors in there, seam ripper, and um, just stick it in. So I made a couple more of these, sent some out for gifts, um, made this project bag, and I had gotten the um, Threads That Bind Fat Quarter, the small Fat Quarter set from Fat Quarter Shop, and uh, made, well, those are my, my whips in there, but these are things I'm thinking of packing, consider the lilies, so... That was one of my starts. And my other start over there. So I had two starts. Um, gonna have a third one. It's my birthday month. Um, on the 15th, there's a bunch of us starting Live on Little by Plum Street. And I think Stitchy Linda, finally a farm girl, Sweetwater Stitcher. Maybe Ginger Shull and a, a few more ladies, uh, maybe some gentlemen, are joining in. I'm going to join in on that. I have it all ready to go for the 15th. Um, I can't wait. I just really got excited when I saw that. Um, this was, let's see. Let me do the starts. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So... I was watching the Cornhusker Stitchers, Jamie and Terry, and they were showing all their patriotic stitches, and they showed this Primrose Cottage Stitches pattern called All American. I know it's here somewhere. And I started it. I had to. I had to do this on, on the 4th of July. And it is just, I, I love it. I you know what? I keep saying, oh, I'll just do one more section. That'll take me a while. Nope, it doesn't. It goes so fast. You don't realize it. So it's really, I think, oh my gosh, what did I do with the mm -hmm, pattern? Pattern's here somewhere. I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, oh, wait, here it is. I'm so organized. <clears throat> here it is. Okay, so fun. I love it. And it just has all the patriotic you can want on it. Um, 
I went online, it was a PDF, and voila, I was stitching on July 4th. Hope everybody had a, a safe and happy July 4th. We just kept it low-key because we were getting ready to go, and we wanted to keep it just not do anything nuts. So, not that anybody does anything nuts, but we shot off a few little fireworks on our patio. Legal fireworks, by the way. Um... So that was one a new start, and that was on the 4th, and then my BAP for BAB, my ASK project for my ASK birthday, I did it, I started it, and I was just, I can't even tell you, I, I don't even know if I could hold the whole thing up. That's how big it is. This is on 36 count. Oh, by the way, um... All American, let me just rewind. That is on a 36 count country mocha, and I used all the called for threads except for the red. The red, the call for is Louisiana hot sauce, and I subbed it out for DMC 816. So those are the details on All American. This, um, consider the lily. Is this by Heartstring Samplery? Everybody's seen it, but I'm going to show because it's officially my start my big ass start for my birthday um this is on light mocha 36 count i i just can't this is huge and i spent um i guess i want to say two days two and a half days i wanted to get the border done i just frankly can't believe it met up because this is so big and i just took so much time counting and recounting and making sure and each section was you know I, I counted it before I did it I counted it after I did it I counted it and I was still doubtful that because I just you know someone said something and I lose my place and you know how it is and it met up and I couldn't believe it it was a miracle it was a birthday miracle so and this is what I have done Got three flowers done and two motifs. So I think I think if I every time I touch it I get a flower done and a motif or two. That I think will be nice prog nice progress on it. And it will hopefully I'll get a bit done over the summer on it. And put it into my rotation each month. I mean if I lay hands on it a few times a month that'll be great I have my grandson's stocking I want to finish when I get back and um, that is really my only ha have to want to need to get it finished because I put myself on a time um, schedule there for that one so after that I don't really have any obligations <laughs> so those are my new starts as for what I've been working on my whips, um, you didn't think I was going to iron any of this, did you? This is God Bless America. And I am telling you, <laughs> that house. Dude, I, I have used a skein of this floss already. And they tell you you're gonna. I mean, it's not like they, the pattern, it's Plum Street. It's not like she didn't warn you. You know, it's just, you can't, I, it's not that big. It's, it's really, but that house is amazing. And I just, if I'm watching um, something where, you know, I'm going to be watching the TV more than I'm watching what I'm doing, I, t I pull this out. And I'm actually stitching in hand on this because it goes faster with a big block of color like that. But I really love the way it's coming out. I'm hoping the all american and this will be finished by the end of july i'm hoping for that if not by the end of the summer so those are my those are the two things i've been really working a lot on three things i mean you really can't say i worked a lot on consider the lilies because i just started it but that was my birthday start and then we're gonna have um live on little which is part of my haul so so the other two things I think I'm going to pack with me, and you guys, I think I've shown you these before, are 
Sarah Fletcher. <clears throat> because I really, you know what, this, this might be a finish this summer too. Sarah Fletcher, it's still, I haven't worked on it since the last time I showed it. But it's so pretty. Um, I'm going to make sure I hold it up long enough. So this is coming along. I kind of was a little hesitant because it's so the the fabric is light, but I'm not I'm not. I shouldn't say this. I'm probably gonna jinx myself. I'm not a messy. I'm not. I don't let it lay, lay, lay around the campsite or anything like that. So, um, and this other one is Caroline Page. Oops, sorry. I don't mean to be showing the chart. I'm gonna do that. All right, Caroline Page. So cute. This. I really want to finish and have it up on my wall. And that really has, has a standstill. But this is on, let's see. I have this handy dandy book, Cross Stitch Journal. This is my volume number two. Um, I love these. These are from Fat Quarter Shop. Caroline Page is on Marble Pointer by X Jude, 36 count. 36 count is my favorite count. Um, and, hmm. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. When did I start Sarah? I started after? I must have. I don't remember. But that is on a needle and flax, Thornfield, 36 count. Um,. So these, I mean, realistically, if I get a lot of stitching time, I should be able to get a couple of things done this summer. I am um, keeping them in this same bag because it's hands across the sea. <clears throat> and that's really kind of what I'm packing, I think. Other than um, the new start I'll have on the 15th, Little on Little. So let's check the notes. Hmm. Oh, and thank you for everybody who I really, really appreciated your, first off, I asked you about your stitching stories and there were so many people that told me their stories, how they started, whether they started crafts or when, how old they were or who taught them. I think I was like, we should write a book guys. We should write like, we should write a evolving uh, book. I'd buy it. I mean, I, I want to know all your stories. I want to, I'm always interested in things like that. And the other thing I wanted to say thank you for was helping me pick out the fabric for Consider the Lilies. I, I gave you guys a choice of two and it was Mocha, Country Mocha one, pans down. It was like no doubt. I mean, it, it really is going to showcase the colors nicer. So thank you. I, I just love the feedback and I love the comments. Keep them coming. It, it was, it was really it was nice to get that um, interaction because, you know, we do this, or at least I do this, because I don't have uh, a stitchy group and I don't, you know, have a local needle shop where I can go and meet up with people. So it's all going to be, um, for at least for the time being, virtual and remote. So, I mean, I don't know if someone's going to open up a stitching shop by me. That would be nice. Northwest New Jersey. Up by the water. So, um, let's see, I don't want to, I did have another finish and it was, I mean, an FFO. So I just was looking through my pile on my loom. Like you guys have an under the bed box. I have an over the loom pile. I have a little floor loom here, which I'm probably going to be selling soon. Um, and I just have my finishes draped over that and it's probably not a good place, but it keeps them in my eyesight so that I'm like, oh, I got to finish that. Oh, I got to frame that. I told you I was going to order frames. I did not order frames because COVID happened and there was no way I was going to count on, my, on that brain to order frames and do math. So when I get when I get back, probably in August. So I did have a, a fully finish. And this is, um, maybe it's cold outside. And I just finished it into a, a little pillow. Um, well, a big pillow, a medium pillow, but I did it with fiber fill and I usually, you know, I, it gets all wonky and curvy and, um, Pam from Stitching Between the Lines, she 
talks about how she likes her pillows flatter, and I do too. I don't like them. I, I don't like them. I like them so you could see all, everything around them and the border you leave. And she said she irons them. She steams them. So that's what I did. I just like them. Voila. I put a little edging around it, um, glued it on with some Aileen's tacky glue, and I have one thing off the pile that I just love how this came out. And this is Baby It's Cold Outside. Bye, 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 bye. Hmm. It would be nice if I was prepared. I made notes. And, you know. Eh. I'm going to say the wrong person. Baby, oh, I found it. It's a heart string samplery. samplery. It, this is on Picture This Plus Ale, 36 count, and I used all the cold for fancy floss. Wow. I can't believe I found it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that came out. It's really cute. So that was my uh, FFO. My other FFO. Okay. So what are we at? We're at oh my gosh, this might be my longest video yet. Better, I better not... Oh, I do have some haul. Um, in that horrific package was um, a pattern, this blackbird. And I mean, the only damage I can see is that it got a little curved, but that should flatten out. But I want to do this for fall. And, um,. The other thing that was in there were threads. I had some weeks and I had some classic color works and they were thankfully in plastic bags because they would have been destroyed. I mean, if that black ink, hmm, I, don't know, I don't even know what to say. So that was, that was that haul. Then I ordered, this is going to be the new start. Wib on little. Oh, is that is just I, if I know I talk about the other house I'll get to talk about this one too because I think that that in the water is going to be no joke there either but that was that came since our last my um, fabric of the month which I think everybody's gotten right now from Fox and Rabbit white clay sorry for the crinkle I have to take it out though because you can't really see it through the this is beautiful. That's a nice neutral. I'm in the neutrals. That's a little back there. That's very pretty. Very, very pretty. I don't... I really wanted to... I was thinking of putting a uh, Live On Little on it, but it just wouldn't show some of the lighter colors on it, so... And let's see what else is in the basket. Oh, I am a Patreon. Oh! Hang on a second. So remember that time where I was talking about the eagle that um, Cottage Garden samplings that cross stitch chart, and I was like, I, I really don't know what's coming out next, but I really wish it was an owl. I nearly lost my mind. So that came. I. Oh. Now I have some uh, white Spygart and I have some green dye. So I was thinking either of trying my hand at dyeing some color or I also have some Bramble, 36 count Bramble, which this might look really nice on. So I don't know if you could see that. I just couldn't believe it. I was so excited and Tiffany, uh, um, uh, stitching with the twins she she messaged me on it's just like oh my god you just talked about that and I was like oh, I know isn't that it's like they heard me of course they planned that way before but it it was it was meant to be but yes so I got the owl that was the other part of my haul all right so back to I am <clears throat> really into patriotic so I purchased the PDF from Corset a Gogo. And I I think I definitely have to just keep going with the patriotic. I just 
like the idea of being able and I know it's late for this year but I'll have it for next year so but I, I just the Pledge of Allegiance that's kind of what it's all about right so I did get that and um, I am a tier 3 whimsy for um, Teresa Cobit and we get two charts two charts if you're a tier four, you get all three, I think. They got a, a big chart. I think you get a small and a medium. Anyway, two charts. Really cute. You, it's totally, I'm thinking of upping to the tier four because, oh my God, they're so cute. And just think about what you would pay for a pattern. Isn't that adorable? That's got to be made. I, I don't I don't know when I'm going to have the time, but I'm going to have the time. And then that was called a green coat Santa. She just, I just love her work. And this is Right Jolly Old Elf. Look at that. How cute. And, you know, I have a list of PDFs I want to buy. First off, finally a farm girl, Chrissy. I I could buy every single one of hers. Um, she's just, mm. and Becca, Sambri Stitches. Uh, there's a, two or three. Mm-hmm. Mm uh, I, you know, maybe I'll, you know, have to have a, a birthday buying spree when I get, when I get closer to my birthday and get some of their PDFs because uh, everybody's putting out such unique, different things and they're just, I can picture them in my decor. So that's it for the whole portion, I think. Yes. I'm trying to be good. I mean, I have to leave something for somebody else to buy. It's not bad. Um, oopsie. So, I have... I'm planning on that start on the 15th. One moment, please. So what happens when you drop your notes. Anyway. So, live on little. So, I got so mad at myself because I don't know what I was going to start but I had a piece of hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit and I started something and this is why I don't cut my material before I do my border because when I do my border then I know I'm in I'm committed and then I can trim it I cut that material before I started and I had a whole quarter yard and I could have used it for Live on Little because that's the called for, but no. Nope. So lucky for me, I had, hmm, ah, Fiber on a Whim, Affogato. And let me just, I, I really like the way, don't mind the, that I think they're really gonna look. You don't even see the blues there, but those are the DMCs. I have one <clears throat> classic color work in there, um, but the rest of them I'm using the DMC for. Oh, let's see. They're so pretty. And this is gonna be the start on, um, July 15th, there's a hashtag, I think, I'll put it in the box below, and it's Live on Little Sal, um, go check out Stitchy Linda, she has, on her Instagram, she talked about it, my dot dot goose bag, so cute, alright, so, my chair, okay, so, Packing a few things to take. I'm going to be bringing my daylight foldy go just to have a lamp. I don't think I need my, um, I have a daylight go. Is that the other one with the magnifier? I don't think I need to bring that though. I haven't been using a magnifier. I've, I've been staying to, I do some 40 count, like I think, um, let, 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 let rain is on 40 count and my hawk run hollow is on 40 count so 
that I'm home when I stitch on those. Really takes a little bit. Um, the other thing, let's see. Oh, speaking of our trip, so I was thinking, you know, my channel is called The Camping Stitcher because I go camping. So my husband and I have been, I we both were camping as children. We grew up, our families camped back in the days when, uh, you know, <laughs> canvas tents. I think, I actually think his family had like one of those canvas army tents at one point. I could be wrong, but I think he had one. We had one of those, like, you know, Sears and Roebuck canvas tents. Your parents would scream at you if you touched the sides when it was raining because it was, like, flood. Um, you know, the kerosene heat, I just don't even know. I don't really know how we survived because there was so much that could go wrong. <laughs> you had a kerosene heater in your tent. I mean, it's just double-decker cots that were not, you know, clearly... I mean, I can remember them coming apart, but... <laughs> um, you know, luckily we were kids and we didn't weigh a lot, but so we've been camping our whole life. So we started out tent camping when we met, we tent camped, uh, we tent camped until, oh, my youngest, my youngest was, uh, probably like one, one and a half. And we went on vacation. We used to vacation pretty much every summer we were up in uh, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. And we were up in New Hampshire. We were camping on the Kankamingus Highway. And in, uh, oh gosh, I don't remember the name of the campground. But they have a lot of campgrounds on that highway. And we got there and it was uh, okay weather. Started raining the night, that night that we got there. By the next day, they got something like ridiculous, like 15 inches of rain and... It was only supposed to rain scattered showers here and there. It We were gone for 17 days. And I want to say it rained for 15. And every time we went somewhere, um, you'd hear on the radio, the weather reports, oh, scattered showers today. And my husband would scream at the radio, where? It's raining everywhere we go. Um, but at one point we had like a little stream going through the tent from one corner to the other. I remember having it the second day we were there, you know, and we we're experienced so I mean we've been weather you know there's been times we've been up there and it was like freezing cold our water would freeze in, in the summer but uh there was just just was so much with two little kids and um we were at sleeping bags and we were at air mattresses and our suitcases were wet and I remember having to go to the laundromat and dry everything out and then line everything with trash bags and I remember I was sitting out underneath our awning and I think I was like delusional or something. And I remember saying, oh, look, it's raining again. And I remember hearing my husband tell the kids, if it doesn't stop raining soon, we're going to have to take mommy to a hotel. <laughs> but we came home from that raincation. That's what we call it. Remember raincation? And we bought, we went, we were like, that's it. You know, we liked tent camping and it, it was, it was fun. And it was something, you know, we, we had always done, but just having two little kids and not having anywhere to get them off the ground dry so we went and we looked around and we got a used uh coleman pop-up and we had that thing for a while it was great um and then when that you know we kind of outgrew that a little bit we got a bigger uh coleman uh not Col was it a coleman it's possible i don't remember anyway we got a bigger pop-up and then we had uh two episodes of we live in the country <sighs> mice ate a hole in the in the uh, canvas on the top of the pop-up like as big as my head <laughs> wasn't a little hole you could patch we had to get the whole thing re-canvassed and it happened twice the second time we were like that's it we're getting a hard side camper so we got our first little hard side camper and it was um it wasn't very big um they called it a couple's camper you know like it could sleep four if you really wanted to squish people on the dinette um, we had that for a while, and then, you know, we got, like, a little punch happy, you're like, oh, we really need something bigger. And we got, um, like, a 28-foot, which I know isn't huge. I've seen what people, you know, hole around, and for us, it was big, because our driveway is on an incline, and we had to have uh, somebody come in and make a parking pad for it, because it just... 
anyway, we had that for, I want to say two years and we had so many issues with that horrible tails, <laughs> just like the awning came undone when we were driving down the interstate. It just opened up. It was like the thing nightmares are made out of. Uh, we had a axle, um, almost go on fire when we were going uh, through the Poudre Canyon in Colorado. Yeah, we made it to the campground and the gentleman that runs that campground was like, how are you guys doing? And Maz was like, great. And he's like, not really, your tire's on fire. Um, so I was three extra days in Colorado fixing that. And so we came home from that trip and we traded that in, you know, fixed it, traded it in and bought our motor home. And our motor home is a small motor home. It's 24 feet, uh, sun seeker. And it's all in one and there is no, I, you know, just to see the difference in my husband now, um, driving this, he's relaxed and I mean, you know, not like crazy relaxed, but there's no towing issues. There's no, I mean, so my point to the whole big saga of how we, how I am the camping stitcher and, you know, um, we were camping like at. I think it was 2020. Yeah, that's when I got back into it. And I remember, you know, all the years we spent up in New Hampshire, his family would come and meet us. His mom was a big uh, stitcher, sewer, uh, quilter, and she always had cross stitch with her. And I used to bring, like, everything with me, like my spit, my electric spinner, this, that, the other thing, my knitting. And I remember sitting in the campground, and I remember uh, my uh, friend Opal, um, she was uh, posting pictures on Instagram of her cross stitch, and I was like, oh, you know, I should, I, I have that at home. I should drag that out. I should bring that camp in. And I remember looking at my husband going, your mom brought cross stitch with her all the time. Like, I should do that. That's such a great thing to bring camping. It doesn't take up much room. I mean, unless you bring everything with you. Um, it, it It's packable. You can take it out and work on it, put it away easily. It's, it's just, and that's really how... I got back into cross stitching was that little conversation that that little snippet of seeing my friend Opal's uh, beautiful work on her she does full coverage I mean that kind of drew me in I remember seeing her stuff and then uh, going on to YouTube and and finding floss tube and uh, watching Teresa little stitcher and she does full coverage and Chatelaine's and that's really the rabbit hole that I fell down in so I think it's so cool. I know I'm interested in the stories. And so, like, are you interested in, like, campfire stories? Little things, you know, little snippets from me going camping and stitching and, you know, all that little funny stuff? I mean, I could I could, I could tell you stories because we've had some experiences. Um, and, you know, the good, even though some of them were, you know, nail biters you look back on them and you're like wow that was something so I, i'd be happy to share that let me know if you're interested that was really long and drawn out man i'm sorry <laughs> a little punchy today anyways so that was my evolution of camping um so uh let's see what else have i done oh okay new floss tuber to me um and she's a new floss tuber she's just got two uh floss tubes out um, her name is, uh, Nancy, the disorderly stitcher. She's awesome. Uh, she's a teacher. She's a quilter. She's a stitcher. She's a down to earth. Uh, I just, uh, she's got the two videos up. I watched both of them. She's, she's awesome. Give her, you know, check her out. She's, uh, uh, she's like, I, I'm really enjoying her. She's just, there's just something about the way she she's authentic that's what it is she's like she's authentic she's she's really she's funny she's got a lot of nice stitching too and she's quilting so uh, she seems to be a very prolific quilter which some I've seen some of her little snippets she shows and it's I can't wait to see more keep going Nancy um all right who else have I been watching let's see Oh, I binge watched the Bougie Stitchers, uh, Nancy and Jenny. Um, they don't know that they're my new best friends, and I know that they're okay when people say that they're new best friends because they did that to other people. So 
you're my new best friends. So they're funny. I, I just, I like seeing the, the two of them interact and, um, they went to StitchCon. Uh, nice to see. I hope someday to get to StitchCon. That would be fun. Well, maybe next year. You never know. Um, oh, and also I've been watching Missy and Kathy of Two Needles Pulling Thread. Those girls are, I like seeing their interaction too. I, you know, I think it's great when you have somebody else to do this with. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can work my friend Jean into doing this with me. What do you say, Jean? <laughs> but it's nice. They have a lot of nice projects. Uh, I like their Halloween stuff. And uh, they went to StitchCon too. I'm getting a little jealous. Anyway, also, um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. She is on the road. She's in her camper. And I think that that is kind of cool. So I'm kind of looking forward. I, she has one video up their first week on the road in Colorado on a river, which I got to go see if I can check out that. I think that campground might be in that same canyon that we drove through because that was a beautiful canyon. Um, so, yeah, she's she's camping it up. I can't wait to see the rest of I hope she posts weekly because that's, that's to me. That's really interesting. Um, I think that's it. I, did I talk about my plans? Yeah, I think I did. I have trying to revamp uh, my floss situation. I had them in one of those accordion, you know, sewing boxes. And I'm always having a, so I have a, I'll take a picture of it. I have a basket tree, kind of. And I'm thinking of just storing my floss on it. You know, my uh, one, it's got prongs that stick out, little angles. DMC, primarily at the top four rungs. And then Weeks, Color, and co color Class of Color Works, because that's what I have. And Gast. And see, see how that works. Because I've been putting my floss on... Um, bobbins i have to make some bobbins today um not bobbins drops not bobbins drops oh my god so yeah this is so much easier i just think the whole pulling one thread out at a time and it just i like it way better than the bobbin and that's about it that's all i got so thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. This is my longest video and I'm really sorry if I went on and on about camping, but I am the camping stitcher, so it was going to happen sometime. Um, I will try to, I, I usually post at least every other day on my Instagram, if not every day. So I'm thinking of, I don't know how I'm going to handle this, like if I can get to do another floss tube in two weeks or if I'm going to do some kind of vlog thing where I just take snippets figure out how to put them together in iMovie without that sound drop off and back on again um, I might do it that way or you know I might just be a little bit longer this time posting but I am not gonna you know I'll be back it's just I don't know if it's going to be in two weeks or three weeks if it's going to be in between um, I'll probably put some shorts up if I can. So, hope you stick around. Thanks for watching, and stitch away. Bye.